Hello, my name is Angel, and I'm here with the Azusa Aztecs football head coach. Hello, guys. Coach Zamora. Okay, so, Mr. Zamora, Coach Zamora, we have some questions for you. What is your plans going into the 2024-25 season? So the first thing I want to do is build a sense of community. You know, I want us to feel like we're all part of something. I want the whole school to buy into it. I want the whole community to buy into it. I want us all together. You know, I want all the athletes with different sports. You now, football players go play basketball. Basketball plays baseball, soccer, wrestling, all those sports. It's going to build a sense of community here. Okay. Now, when the season starts, do you have any ideas of what you want from the student section? Like, any type of, like, what is it called, theme in the crowd? Yes, so I've been talking with ASB already, and we do have some themes planned for our home games, and I want the student section packed. Yes. You know, I want, I want to go crazy. You know, I want a lot of kids there, uh, you know, family members, community members. I want everyone to pile in and pack in citrus as much as we can. I like that, because last year, if I'm be honest, our home games weren't really that packed. Hopefully, maybe this year with the new head coach, we might see some changes. Hopefully, so. Yeah, that's my plan. That's what I'm trying to do. You know, try and bring everyone together and everyone get on board. Do you have any, like, what was your thoughts when you first came as a head coach? Um, so, uh, I've already been familiar with Azusa High School. You know, I, I grew up in Azusa. You know, I went to Azusa Unified as a student, been teaching in the district for almost a decade. So I'm familiar with the Juice of High. I kind of know what to expect. You know, it's more or less the same kids I had at Gladstone. But the biggest thing that I was excited for was for me to be the head coach. And it was my way to you know, put my own vision in place now. You know, I've been under a couple of coaches already, so a couple of head coaches, and I kind of saw how they all did things. And now it's like my shot to put all those different philosophies and you know, visions into one. Um, so I, I was excited. You know, I knew there's a lot of potential here, a lot of good athletes and returners, some new kids coming up, and uh, I was just excited. What made you want to become a head coach? It's just something I always wanted to do. You know, the AD, Mr. Sanchez, you know, that was my high school coach at Gladstone, and uh, he was definitely something that I looked up to in high school, and I just thought, you know, being a history teacher and, you know, coaching football was the best thing in the world. So yes. that, that's what I want to do, and that's been my, my dream, my plan since I was younger. That's awesome. So with all this young talent that you have, what do you think we might see going into the new season? Um, I, I think everything's going to be different for the football players. You know, I, I think already it's been a little different for them. It's going to take some time to adjust. But as far as experienced players, you know, I'm not worried about that. That will come in time. And, you know, those first five games we have on a schedule, those are just lower fight practice games. You know, they don't count against our record, really. Um, what matters is the league. So once we start with that, that's when it matters and counts. And that's kind of what myself and all my coaches, you know, we have, what, 10 coaches out there, something like that? Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's our jobs to get you guys ready for that. Now, when you heard that they're changing the league, what was the first thing that came to your mind? Let's get it. Let's get after it. You know, a little more challenging, a little more competition. But you know, like I told you guys, since, you know, spring ball, before we started spring ball, I don't care who we line up against. You know, I'll, I'll take the guys that want to be out there and I'll take them to battle with me. And, you know, I don't care who, who we go up against. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to back down from anyone. And I hope you guys can have the same philosophy, same mentality of, you know, you got to have that dog in you. Mm -hmm. You got to have that dog in you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you heard it first from here. This is Coach Zamora. Do you have any final words you want to say? No, just the one thing I keep saying over and over. Now we're one school now. Now we're one city. Now we just have the same goal. And now I'm really hoping to build off what baseball's doing right now. You know, baseball's making a long run to state. And that's kind of one city for football. You know, just going to keep building up, you know, build some champions here. Yes, sir. Let's get some rings, some new titles. Will we make the state playoffs? Find out here first, folks. This has been Angel with Coach Zamora. We'll see you when the 2024-2025 football season starts. Yes, sir. See you guys there.